you know, one of the more difficult things to have to deal with when you lose someone that you love is celebrating the big deals in their life without them being here. I remember on February the 28th, 2013, Noah's birthday. It was his first birthday that we celebrated without him being here. One of the more difficult days in my life since his passing because it was supposed to be a day of celebrating. It was supposed to be a day of of big parties. He was he would have turned five years old. What a monumental age. What a monumental birthday. But he wasn't here for us to celebrate with him. And the pain was so great in my heart. It hurt so badly. And I remember going to God and crying out and saying, God, please help me. How can I, how can I enjoy anything in life anymore without him being here? How can I do anything with a smile on my face, a genuine smile on my face, without my son with me? God, I hurt so bad, and I just don't know if I can, if I can pull out a smile today. I don't know if I could have any joy today. And Bible, the Bible is very true, and Jesus says, "Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted." We're blessed when we know Jesus, because the great Comforter comes and fills in the gaps of our pain and helps us stand on our feet and smile and really choose joy. And as I begin to think about the question, how can I do anything without my son? My question changed to how can I do anything without Jesus? How can I sing anything without his comfort, without his joy, without his love to help me? And so I sat down on that day and I pinned this song and I turned this pain of the loss of my son and his absence into a moment to worship and be healed. And I hope that you can heal as well in your pain. How can I live without you? How could I make one day without your holy presence? Nothing would be. Wow. Uh-huh.